Well hi folks and welcome to another video, Brummy in the Highlands. I'm here in the Highlands once again, but I've decided to come down to Aviemore today because there's a special guest arriving at Strathspey Steam Railway. Can you see that building there? That Victorian building. We've got the Flying Scotsman steam locomotive arriving in Strathspey today. So we're going to go in and take a look at it. It's what, it's 100 years old this year. It's on its centenary tour throughout the UK. So you can catch it wherever you are, check it out on the website, it's worth looking at. So we'll go and take a look inside Strathspey Steam Railway here in Aviemore in the Highlands of Scotland. Let's go and check it out. Okay folks, we'll just make our way into the station, Strathspey. Now you can see the old Victorian uh, bridge there, we'll go across that and hopefully we'll get a shot of the Flying Scotsman as it comes in. Now I think it's coming in from this direction here down here but you can see all the Victorian artwork there isn't this station fantastic just take a look at that Strathspey railway now I will apologize for the flickering on the lights because that's just that's because they're LED and uh, the camera doesn't pick them up too well but there we go and you can see all the old Victorian architecture isn't it fantastic Okay folks, so here we go again, the Flying Scotsman arriving at Strathspey Railway. Now you've got a small train on the right there, but you've got the main Flying Scotsman coming in. Here it is folks, it's backing in. Isn't that fantastic, folks? Just look at the engineering in that and the colour. Brunswick green or Alpine green? Apple green, I'm not sure. And there it is, connected to the observation car there, folks. What a beast. Now you can see this here. That's a smoke deflector there. Now originally it didn't have those on, but it's got them on now because they've converted the chimney into a double chimney just at the top there. And what was happening without the smoke deflectors on, these things here, the smoke was getting in the way and the driver couldn't see where he was going. So they put the wind deflectors on or the smoke deflectors on, which is typical of most German steam locos. But just look at that, just look at the odd, the um, engineering in that folks. 100 years old, 1923, and it's a 462, a 462 configuration. That means it's got two wheels at the front there, which are on a bogey, so they pivot. And then you've got three fixed, sorry, six fixed driving wheels in the middle. That's those there. And then you've got two smaller wheels on another pivoting bogey just under the cab there and then you've got the tender at the very back what a fantastic piece of engineering folks the flying scotsman here in Aviemore at Strathspey steam railway now it's on its 100 year centenary tour so make sure to check out where it is London and, North East and if you've got chance go and see it and it's the LNAR London and North Eastern 1923 as it says on the flat there 60103 
here we go folks so this is going to reverse back now It's recently been reconditioned as well, a couple of years ago. In the last couple of years it's been uh, restored back to its former glory. And that was to make sure it was uh, worthy of its centenary tour. Now what it's doing now, it will pass us and then it will follow this track all the way down to the other end of the carriages and get set up ready for its next journey out to Boat of Gordon. So we're now at the other end of the coaches, folks. Here she comes again. So she, what she'll do now is go past us and then reverse back up to the main coaches. So she's just reversing back now and she'll join up to the coaches before she makes her way back out again. I mean she is absolutely stunning, she really is. The shine on her, the perfection of it, the restoration of it. She looks absolutely brand new. So 1923 she entered service, 1961 she ran till with the British Railways and then there was talk of her being scrapped so it was Alan Pegler, Pegler I think, 
who came in, he was a businessman, he came in, he bought her, saved her, restored her. And then a few years later, he got uh, into financial difficulty, so another consortium of people um, got together and, and bought her. Pete Waterman, the, the music mogul, he was one of them. The same thing happened to them as well, they restored it and then they ran into finan financial difficulty and that's how it carried on throughout. Um, and then eventually the uh, National Railway Museum got a hold of her and she's owned by those people at the moment. She's been to America. She had to have modifications done to her for America because if you look at some of the old um, movies, the American steam trains, they've got what they call the cow guard on the front, it's like a triangular guard to stop the cows uh, going under the wheels on a track. So she had to have modifications done, she had a bell fitted, she had uh, really high intensity lights fitted for the American regulations and she ran there for a few years. She went to Australia as well and then she finally came back home and now she's on a centenary tour throughout the UK. So if you do get the chance to go and see her, check out where she'll be. She's going all over the country. Well worth a visit. Let's hope the steam clears so we can see it. Some pressure there. The flying Scotsman.
she goes, folks.